Well, good day, everyone. Thanks again for checking in with us here at Weather Nation. Meteorologist Marcus Walter here with meteorologist Carissa Kloss, and we're starting mm -hmm. out with what's happening in the Northwest. Yeah, I just want to give you a quick update on the most potent system that's out there today. Things are ending across the Northwest, but the High Plains still looking at some snowfall, and this entire system is going to work its way east in the next few days, giving us more chances for a little bit of light rain and snow in the Dakotas today, but eventually going to tap into some moisture for the entire eastern U.S. And even before that, we're talking about windy conditions mm -hmm. across this region where we can have wind gusts as high as 60 miles per hour. And on top of that, we have some high wind warnings across parts of Montana. It feels like a total switch. Of course, it was the tropics that were super active over the summer. And man, what a hurricane season it was. It's finally, finally coming to an end. But we have a quick recap on the uh, season that was. This season, we had more major hurricanes than any year since 2005. We saw the largest number of consecutive hurricanes since we began observing storms with satellites from Hurricanes Franklin through Ophelia. And this was the most expensive hurricane season on record for the U.S., with a current estimated total of more than $200 billion in damage here alone and topping $300 billion in the entire Atlantic Basin. Just three of the major hurricanes of this season, Harvey, Irma, and Maria, were responsible for most of this incredible destruction. We've only seen more than one one Category 5 hurricane in a single season five times before this year. And with Irma's strike on Barbuda and Maria's landfall on Dominica, this is only the second year in history with two Cat 5 hurricanes making landfall. Irma was the strongest hurricane on record to form in the Atlantic Ocean outside the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean Sea. And now, most recently, another astounding record. With Hurricane Ophelia, we've witnessed the easternmost major hurricane to ever exist in the Atlantic Basin and the strongest storm to pound Ireland in 50 years. And we're not even done with heartbreaking records. Hurricane Harvey first hammered Texas with a devastating Category 4 wind hit to coastal towns like Rockport, where the storm killed one person. We can obviously tell already at this stage, this is going to be a very major disaster. Then after the wind and surge came the rain, the most rain to ever fall from a single tropical system in the U.S., 64.58 inches. It is just, it's, it's overwhelming. We have significant damaging flooding in large portions of, of the county right now. The rainfall forecast was so dire for Harvey that the National Weather Service tweeted these prophetic and frightening words. This event is unprecedented and all impacts are unknown and beyond anything experienced. Texas officials blame at least 88 deaths on Harvey and their state alone. Then, after a two-week break, Hurricane Irma was born, reaching Category 5 intensity, with the strongest winds of any storm in the world this year, 185 miles per hour. Irma roared through the Caribbean and laid waste to islands like Barbuda, where the destruction was so complete, the island was left uninhabitable for the first time in 300 years. Irma continued its killer trek west, taking at least 134 lives. And while it missed a direct hit on Puerto Rico, it caused massive damage there, while threatening to make landfall in the Florida Keys as a Category 5, before threatening to cut a disastrous path straight up the middle of the peninsula, as South Floridians evacuated by the thousands. And while many of the Keys were left heavily damaged, Irma's track and intensity changes spared the entire state what would have been unthinkable property and infrastructure losses from storm surge and wind. Then next up, Maria, the never to be forgotten second category five hurricane of this season. After the outer eye wall crossed St. Croix at Cat 5 intensity, the biggest impact was to Puerto Rico, still reeling from Irma. The U.S. territory took a direct hit as a slightly weakened category four Maria cut a terrible diagonal path across the entire island. Even now, much of Puerto Rico still has no power and total restoration is many months away. Water and food distribution is still lacking in many parts of the island and the infrastructure damage and human suffering has been almost unimaginable for a modern society. And now with the season officially over, we hope for no out of season storms as the rebuilding and recovery in the many hard hit areas in the Atlantic Basin continue. For Weather Nation, I'm John Van Pelt.